Team 7 Ed What are the different states of matter? Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. Solids. In a solid, the particles are tightly packed. This gives a definite shape to the solid. They do not flow. Solids also have definite volume. They cannot be compressed. For example, table, chair, pen, pencil and books. Liquids. The particles in a liquid lie, for, lie far apart from each other. Hence, they do not have a definite shape. They cannot be easily compressed. They take the shape of the container they are poured into. Liquids flow in all directions. They have a definite volume. Oil, water, milk and juice are some examples of liquids. Gases. The particles that make up a gas, that make up a gas are wide apart from each other. They are in continuous motion. They flow in all directions. Gases do not have definite shape and volume. They can be easily compressed. Balloon and football filled with air, steam coming out of boiling water are a few examples of gases. What is the importance of air? Air is all around us. The blanket of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. It extends to about 560 kilometers over the earth. It protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Air is important for all living organisms. Humans and animals, we need oxygen for breathing. We get this oxygen from the air around us. As we go higher up in the, on the mountains, the air becomes thinner. So, the supply of oxygen reduces. Due to this, we experience difficulty in breathing. That is why mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them. Animals also need oxygen for breathing. They do get this oxygen from the air. Plants. Plants use carbon. Carbon dioxide from the air along with water and sunlight to make their own food. What are the properties of air? What are the properties of air? Some interesting properties of air are discussed here. Air changes the shape of things. Activity 1 Take a balloon and blow air into it. As you blow air into the balloon, it grows. As you blow more air into it, the balloon becomes bigger. This shows that air can change the shape of things. Air has weight. We don't have to do the activities now. Air expands. Air has no color. It is colorless. We cannot see it, but we can feel it when it moves. Air occupies space. Composition of air. Air is composed of many gases. Water vapor, smoke, 
dust particles and germs gases air is made up of many things it has nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen and other gases oxygen is crucial for breathing humans and animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide plants also use carbon dioxide to make food water vapor air also contains water vapor do you feel hot and sticky on a rainy day this is because the amount of water vapor in the air is very high during that time dust smoke and germs touch an object at home or in school that has not been wet for many days there will be a layer of dust on it where did the dust come from it came from air air contains a lot of dust particles smoke and germs too round table discuss why clothes take longer to dry on a rainy day and now uses of air for breathing air contains 21% air contains 21% oxygen or no soil winking need oxygen to survive fit fish and other water animals use the oxygen dissolved in water for breathing the the process of taking in a rich in oxygen into the body and expelling a rich in carbon dioxide out of the body is called breathing external respiration the movement of oxygen return into the body is called inhalation and the movement of carbon dioxide return out of the body is known as exhalation dry divers carry oxygen cylinders for breathing under the water because they cannot use oxygen dissolved in water for breathing for burning oxygen supports burning combustion we need the oxygen present in air to light the fire extraordinary man no remember one should be through the nose and not the mouth as mu as mucus and in the hair present in our nose prevent the entry of dust in, into our body extraordinary minds joseph priestley an englishman discovered that air is a mixture of gases he also discovered that there is a colorless and highly reactive gas present in air which supports burning next which which number 86 now nitrogen does not support burning in fact helps in controlling fire without nitrogen even small fires would become uncontrollable for food plants need carbon dioxide along with water minerals and sunlight to make food all of the organisms either directly or indirectly depend on the food prepared by plants what is air pollution the addition of pollutants such as harmful gases into the air is called air pollution
causes of air pollution we cut down trees in large numbers for obtaining wood wood is used for constructing houses for making paper and also as a fuel the cutting down of trees on a large scale is called deforestation i tell you again the cutting down of trees on a large scale is called deforestation this leads to less a number of trees in the environment thus less amount of oxygen is available for living things this also results in an increase in carbon dioxide in air which leads to air pollution burning of fuels such as coal petrol and diesel in vehicles and factories add poisonous gases to the air the tea smoke coming out of factories also adds harmful gases such as carbon dioxide to the air eruption of volcanoes releases smoke into the air lighting firecrackers during diwali is another cause of air pollution now effects of air pollution air pollution affects our respiratory system it causes asthma lung cancer bronchitis etc it also results in various breathing problems coughing headaches etc one of the most hazardous effects of air pollution is the depletion of the ozone layer since the ozone layer protects us from the uv radiation of the sun we should also protect it what are the ways to prevent air pollution and air, air pollution can be prevented in the following ways plant more trees it will not only protect the habitat of animals but also prevent soil erosion plants a more tree, planting more trees is known as reforestation trees also help in reducing air pollutants you use your bicycle or walk to nearby places instead of instead of using motor vehicles ask your parents to get their car checked regularly for pollution to make sure that it is not giving out harmful gases and smoke using less polluting fuels such as cng compressed natural gas should be preferred and petrol and diesel driven vehicles do not let people burn garbage um do not let people burn garbage or dried leaves in your area factories should install tall chimneys that release harmful gas far away from the air that we breathe industry should treat the waste harmful pollutants to make it harmless before releasing it sense in action many people feel that we need to drink water in summer 
Then in winter because we sweat more in sun, summers. But this is not correct. Our body loses fluids in winter so because, because there is less moisture in the air and it is dry. So we should drink plenty of water in winters too. Now walk through. So since states of matter, solid liquid, solid gas liquid, gas, air, properties of air, air as weight, air occupies space, air changes the shape of things, air expands, air has no color. Composition of air, air is made up of many gases such as nitrogen, carbon, carbon dioxide, oxygen and other gases. Air also contains water vapor, dust, smoke and germs. Uses of air for breathing, for burning, for food. Now this is not the end. I am going to ask you some questions. Answer in one word. Anything that has mass and occupies space. Mad. Um, matter. Question 2. A state of matter in which particles are tightly packed. Solid. 3. A state of matter in which particles lie far apart from each other. Liquid. As a state of matter in which particles are in a continuous motion. Gas. I think I think it's gas. Now fill in the blanks. The blanket of air surrounding the earth is called ozone layer. As we go higher on the mountains, the supply of oxygen is less. 3. They carry oxygen cylinders with them. 4. We need dash for breathing. The answer is oxygen. 5. Plants use dash from the air along with water and sunlight to make their own food. The answer is carbon dioxide. Now state true true T or false F. L can change the shape of things. True. Two. Air is weightless. True. Air expands on heating. I think air is weightless. That's why I'm saying true. Actually, I don't know. Three. Air expands on heating. True. Four. We cannot feel air, but we can see air when it moves. Answer false. 5. Air does not occupy space. The answer is false. Now D. Choose the correct answer. Air contains A. Gases B. Water vapor C. Dust or D. All of these. The answer is all of these. 2. Air is used for A. Breathing B. Burning C. Making food D. All of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is all of these. No. The answer is... Um, I think all of these. But it is not used for making food. Yes, it's used for making food. The answer is two. The answer of two is D, all of these. Because gas is hai na? Gas, which is my khana bakta hai. Woh gas asli na. 
फायर नहीं हो प्लाज्मा भी नहीं है वो गैस से वो प्लाज्मा बनता है प्लाज्मा से वो फ्लेम से बनता है फ्लेम से फायर बनता है द मूवमेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन लिचर इन टू दी इज कॉल्ड द आंसर इज रेस्पिरिंग ब्रीदिंग इनहेलेशन इनहेलेशन ए इनहेलेशन बट ऑल द ऑप्शन हुआ ए इनहेलेशन बी एक्सलेशन सी ब्रीदिंग एंड डी रेस्पिरेशन फोर्थ ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स नीड ऑक्सीजन टू सर्व लाइक आई टोल दी आंसर लेट्स डू ऑन दिस फिफ्थ वन द लास्ट वन दैन दिस विल बी ओवर Which of the following gases helps in controlling fire? A. Nitrogen. B. Oxygen. C. Helium. Or D. None of these. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is A. Nitrogen. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye.